Macro Settings. Select the Macro Interface. The Macro Interface is the default when entering the driver. Select a button you need to bind, and then click the left mouse button, a small window for macro settings will pop up. Click the plus icon to create a macro file, here we create three. Move the mouse to the name of the macro file, and then double click the left button to change the name of the macro file. Select the macro file that needs to be deleted, and then click the delete icon to delete the macro file. Here we only leave the one we named. The default is to delay recording, it will automatically delay your recording time. This is a fixed delay, check it will extend the time according to the length of time your keyboard is pressed. The last one is no delay, regardless of your delay time. Here we can enter the number of times we want to repeat. Here we let it repeat three times. This represents the delay time, the default is 10ms, cannot be changed. Click to start recording, quickly enter the button we want to trigger. After the input is completed, we click to stop recording, the recording is complete. Finally, we click apply. The macro binding is successful, and the button is highlighted green. Now let's test it. Click the macro key we just set, and then the macro will be automatically entered three times. We found that the input speed is a bit slow. Now let's change the delay time to make it input faster. Set the repeat input 5 times. Uniformly change the delay time to 50ms. and then click apply. Now let's test it and we can see that the input speed is much faster than just now. Next, we will demonstrate the advanced operation you can change the order of input, specific to a character. The up arrow and down arrow icons in the upper right corner can switch the order of the characters in the list. Select the character that needs to be exchanged and then click the down arrow icon. Move it to the lower level, the position depends on your preference. Select the character that needs to be moved to the upper layer. Click the up arrow icon and the character will be moved to the upper layer. We can also select unneeded characters, then click the trash can icon in the upper right corner. The character will be deleted. And finally click apply, let's try again. Click the macro key we bound, and the characters will be entered into the notepad.
and we can see that our setting is successful. When you don't need these characters, you can also clear them all. Click the reset icon in the upper right corner. You can see that all the characters have disappeared. Click delete to unbind the macro button. And the macro button has been unbound successfully. The green highlight has disappeared.